Jesus coming as our minister. Let us pray. Well, God, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for our lives. Though we call you by different names, we thank you that you call us to live as sisters and brothers, seeking justice, loving kindness, and walking humbly with you. We thank you for this occasion as we gather together to celebrate your vision of our belonging to you and to one another as your children. We thank you for our Decatur school system and its leadership, its teachers, its principals, support staff, families, and children. We thank you for this city, for this state, for this country, which is fired by the deep and powerful image of equality. We thank you for our president, President Barack Obama, who represents so much that is dynamic and vital and wholesome among us. His leadership reminds us that you have broken down the dividing wall that you intend for us to live in beloved community. As another great leader put it 50 years ago in his letter from the Birmingham jail, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality. So God, we ask your blessing upon this president and his family as they lead us. We ask your blessing upon all of our elected leaders so that they may be dominated not by money or power or prestige, but rather be dominated by a desire to serve for the good of all people, that they may be moved by the powers of love and justice and compassion, knitting us together as one family and one people. And now may your spirit fill all of us here today, so that we may look around the walls that divide us and see not the enemies we have been taught to fear, but rather to discover the sisters and brothers for whom our hearts are long. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Amen.